Hi guys, welcome back to Coding World. This is my first video in the 2023. I want to thank you all for subscribing my channel and reaching the milestone of the first 1000 subscribers. And on the occasion of this, I am creating this small microservice utility project. In this, we are going to upload and download the file using Spring Boot microservice. So for that, I am going to create a skeleton using the Spring Initializer. I am using a Java and Maven as a building tool and I am using the Spring Boot 4.7.7 and here I am giving group as a coding world. Then here I am giving as a file upload download. And same for the same file upload download project for the Spring Boot. And here I am considering a jar as a my packaging this is a only backend project that's why jar is enough and java i'm considering as a server so for this project we need uh, some dependencies uh, and web dependencies is one of that then second is like uh, i am using a jpa for storing the file in the database and third i am using a postgres as my database so these three dependencies are enough for our this uploading and downloading project. We are dividing this utility in a two part. In first part, we will download and upload file on Tomcat server. Now, and then we will move that part into the database. For that purpose, we need Postgres SQL driver and the Spring Data JPA dependencies. So, <clears throat> so let's start with our first step, like create a, this generated project and import in your preferred editing tool okay so i have downloaded this project and imported into the my spring boot sks so in this uh, i have created uh, two files to make this uh, video a fa little faster one is a file controller one is a file service so in controller we are going to add the upload and download two apis and for those apis we are impl giving implementation in the service class Okay, in this first phase, we are going to upload and download file into Tomcat server only, means on the server where this project will be deployed. So for that, I have added the abc.txt file, and in this, I have written a simple hello coding world. And in this project, we have added the dependencies for the post in Postgres. So for Postgres, we need to add the properties into your application.property file or else it will fail when you are starting your microservice. Okay, these are the basic things which I have did initially to boost, to speed up our this utility project. So let's create one controller and I am creating this with a little faster so not wasting too much time in writing code one by one. I have created uh, upload file and in this I am taking this is a post map post mapping and in this I am taking a multi multi-part file and in this file we are getting this file and passing to our service which is our file service in file service we are going to create a upload file one method and that will be handling all the functionality of the upload so let's create this part this method into the file service okay so I have I am creating the upload file and multi part upload file. Okay, so I have written all the codes and skipped all the line by line coding. And if you see that, like we are providing the upload file, and this file we are going to store into the one location. So here we are using a class path to store our data into our server. So class path is like we have created a store one folder into our resource file and for to access that we need to give a class path and here I am using a resource loader as a class which will help us to read and write the file into the resource folder. So once we create the store and in front of store I am getting the location this will give a location of the store file and in that I am saving the file with the same name that means I am uploading the file. So I am creating the file creating new file if it's already there it will override that file and it will create the 
new file. I am printing the location where I have uploaded the file for my debugging purpose. And once we create an empty file in that file, we are creating an output stream, means we are uploading the data into that file. And which data we are uploading? We are uploading the data which we, we are taking from the multipart file. Okay. This is the file upload. Now let's write our next controller, which is our upload, which is our download. Okay. So I have created second API, which is a download where we are passing the file name and for that file name, we are downloading the resource. If we don't found any resource, we are throwing the not found exception. Here we are passing the content type is octet stream. Like sometimes if your file is more than like uh, it is taking more time like more than 10 MB or 10 MB or 100 MB. So in that case, instead of skip the, that rolling the rolling on your browser in a stream uh, block, we are showing that on the screen. So that is that is used for the for that purpose. We use the octet stream. Okay. And this content type we are passing to the parse content response entity and we are passing header as a content disposition attachment and in that, that attachment we are passing the file and we are passing the body in resource resource as a body okay let's create a download method in our file survey so i have created download files file method and this will be uh, handling all the process regarding downloading file. Downloading means it will find the file with that name in our resource folder under the store and if it is found it will return that file. So let's write the code for that. So this is a simple this is a simple resource loader which will find the file name under our defined class path. I have hard coded this all, all these things you can Configure that in somewhere in your application file and inject using a value configuration. Okay. Now, if that is found, we are returning. In if we don't found, we will we will return empty. So this is it for the upload and download. Let's run this project and check is it working fine or not. Okay, we have started successfully our application. Let's run Postman and hit that two APIs, upload and download. So let's upload first and call the same download API. Now I'm uploading PDXML, one file I have in my system. And if I click on here, it is returning 200. That means we have successfully uploaded the file. Now let's download that file. So create a download API. So uh, hit the down. So hit the download API from the Postman. And this is my download API where slash download file name I'm giving speed XML dot txt. And if I hit, I am getting my uploaded file. Okay. So that is why right. we have to we have successfully implemented download and upload functionality using Spring Boot microservice. So next part is like instead of showing that into the Tomcat or server, we can store that into the database that we will do in a next. So if you guys like this video, short video and utility microservice, please like this video and share with your friends. Thank you guys. Happy coding.